Hey everyone, welcome back to this Python tutorial. In this one we're going to go over, we're actually going to build a password cracking tool uh, using a dictionary of common passwords and I'll kind of show you how all that works. I'll show you how passwords are usually stored, um, if they're stored securely on web servers. Um, they're stored as hashes, not plain text. I'll show you how that works and what it kind of looks like. Uh, how to use the hashing module that's built into Python. And um, I, haven't, I actually haven't built one of these before, but like all my tutorials, we're just going to kind of learn together and build something that can, uh, if you have a list of common passwords and a list of user accounts with hashes, you can uh, try and crack the passwords. Um, for fun, though, don't do this for real because it is uh, illegal if you, I guess, go out there and search for um, leaked passwords. But typically, when you uh, when you make an account on a website and you have a username and a uh, password, it doesn't store the plain text password um, on the server. What it does is it hashes that password into a random string of characters using, there's a bunch of different hashing algorithms, and I'll go over uh, some of them in the most commonly used ones, but it, it hashes that password, stores it on their server. That way they, they never know what your clear text password is, only you know what it is. Um, and so when you log in, they've stored your hash on their server, and when you log in, your computer hashes uh, that password again and then sends them the hash and then they check to see if the hash on their server matches the hash you just sent them and if it matches it lets you log in. Um, so what I'm going to do here, uh, I'm going to make a text file just called commonpasswords.txt and in here, uh, this will be like our dictionary, like if someone was legit doing this, they'd probably have like a common passwords file that had a million of the most common passwords uh, that, that they've discovered. So I'm just going to make, mine's not going to be a million, it'll be like six, but we're just going to do like welcome one, welcome two, welcome one, two, three, password one, you know, just stupid common passwords you should never use, uh, password exclamation mark, and then... I'm going to make another text file called uh, username hashes.txt. <clears throat> Typically, when you hear about a server uh, or a, yeah, like a website getting hacked, and it's like, oh, they got all our username and password account information. They 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 typically get a file that looks like this. So we'll say J Smith. It'll have a colon, and it'll be like. Uh, password one, J Doe, uh, password one, two, three, uh, J West, uh, welcome one. And uh, it'll be formatted like this, and it'll have the username uh, that typically has like a colon and then the password, but it doesn't actually write the password out. It writes a bunch of gibberish like this and like this. And it's just a, a long chain of gibberish. And what that is, it means they have, they, they might have hacked the website and got the username, but they didn't get the clear text password if the website's secure, and most websites should be nowadays. Um, but there probably are some out there that still store clear text passwords. But this is the, after the colon, this is the file hash that's stored on their, their web application or server. So when someone like hacks, uh, say, um, I think, Target got hacked a long time ago. I'm sure Amazon or Walmart's been hacked uh, in the past. Uh, they probably got something like this. And what the attacker tries to do is they try and now that they have all these hashes and usernames, they have to hack the hash and figure out what word or phrase or password turns into this hash. So they'll have a dictionary of real common passwords that they can they can hash all these and see if any of them match. Which is why you should always use a really long uh, really weird different password to make it real secure. Don't ever use real common passwords like these because they're for sure inside their dictionaries. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to, first of all, I'm actually going to hash some passwords and store legitimate hashes right here along with the just fake usernames. Um, and then we're going to build a Python program that will go through our dictionary and try and see if it can figure out these people's passwords based off the hash uh, that's on them. So uh, let's go ahead and get some actual hashes. And I'll show you how to use the hash library in Python while we do that. So I'm going to make a new Python file called uh, generatehashes.py. Um, there's a module that comes with Python called hashlib. It's a hash library. 
Uh, we'll make a variable called password, and we'll do password1. That'll be the first password we hash. And then we need to get the hash, so we can access our hashlib module, and there, so there's a bunch of different hashing algorithms. Um, the, the most common one nowadays is SHA-256, so you can just type in SHA-256, uh, but there's a bunch of other ones. There's SHA-3, SHA-1, uh, MD-5. A lot of places used to use MD-5, but uh, it's easily hackable now, so no one should be using it. SHA-256 is kind of the standard. So this function is going to need to know what password are we hashing. So we're going to pass in password our password, which is password1, into there. And the thing that's kind of weird, it need, uh, by default, the strings uh, in Python, I think, are Unicode. So you have to encode it into uh, UTF-8 is what the hashing function wants it uh, formatted as. So all strings have an encode function. So this password string, we're running its encode method. And it's like, what encoding do you want to use? We want to use UTF-8. So that should work. Now if you do print hash right here, and we'll do run, it, it generates like a hash object. To get it to actually show you the hash, it has a property called hex digest, or actually it's a, it's a method. Uh, a hash object has a uh, method called hex digest. You can run that and print it out. So the hash for password one is right here. So we'll go ahead and copy that, and we'll say um, J Smith's password is uh, uh, password one. Now let's do the same thing. Let's make one that's welcome one. Let's get the hash for that. So we got the hash for that one. Let's add that to our uh, J Doe uses welcome one as his password, so that's his hash. And then J West, we'll say it's uh, Python is fun. So Python is fun, generates that hash. We'll store that right there. So this is realistically what you would see if like you hacked someone's um, password, username, database. It would be their username and then uh, the hash right there. You, would, you wouldn't be able to tell this was welcome one. You would have to figure that out on your own. Um, so now, now that we have that, we have common passwords. You have welcome one, one, two, three. Uh, the other one was Python is fun. So we'll add that down here. Um, and realistically, you'd have like a million of these, but we're only going to do seven. So now let's make a file called, um, I don't know, passwordcracker.py. And let's figure out how we want to do this. So the first thing I want to do is I want to re I want to read all these all these common passwords that are in here. I need to read them into a list. So uh, let's do with open and we'll open that common passwords file in read mode. And I just do as F for file. Uh, you can name it whatever you want. Um, and then we'll do, let me make a variable up here called passwords, or we'll call it common passwords. Common passwords equals an empty list. And then we'll do common passwords dot append and what are we going to append to it we're going to do f dot uh, read so that's going to read the entire thing and then we're wanting to split lines so we'll split all the lines I think that should actually work let's do print common passwords let's see what there's going to be a lot of troubleshooting in this um, uh, so f dot read dot split lines. So I don't like how that came out. It put it as a list within a list. So actually, we could just do this. We could do uh, for eh. Hold on one second. Let me figure out how I want to do this. Let's read everything into this text variable. So f dot read lines uh, dot oh, sorry f dot read dot split lines. What does that look like? Oh yeah, so that'll work. So we'll just do we'll do it like that. 
Sorry about that. Common passwords. Alright, so now I have a list that I've called common passwords, and it's just a list of all those uh, common passwords that we can use for later. So we don't have to print that out. Why is this complaining? Oh, I don't need to put that up here. A well, with statement, you don't have to do that. All right, the next thing we need to do, this one's going to be the tricky part because uh, I want to get a list that contains a bunch of lists that has the username and the hash separated and throw away the, uh, the colon. So we can do with open uh, pass, or uh, what do we call it? Username hashes. And we'll put that in read mode as F. And we'll do, let me just test something here. F dot read dot split lines. So that's all the text, so print text. All right, so that put each entry into a list. So we read all the text into this text variable, and then what we did was we split it, split all that text per line into its own element. So we have all that. So then what we can do, we can do uh, tech or for user hash in text so every for every user hash uh, combination that's in this text we can do this we can do um, uh, let's see here username is well actually we need to do this we need to do user yeah we'll do username equals user hash dot split and we'll split it at the colon and then we're only going to want the zeroth element right there and then so if for instance if you if you look at this print username this should just show us the username yeah so that just shows us the username so what this is doing it's saying hey for each one of those user and hash combination combination entries within that list uh, split it at the colon so it's going to make a list with two things so it'll have the username and the hash and then we're only wanting the first thing in it so the zeroth element which is the username so throw it into this username variable and then we want to do the same thing with the uh with the hash so the hash will equal user hash dot split and we want to split it at the colon and we want the second thing in it so we'll put a one there so now if we print hash those are all the hashes. Now I think the best way to do this, uh, we'll actually create it up here at the top. Uh, I'm gonna make a dictionary. I think a dictionary will work good for this. So the key is the username and the value is the hash. So um, user hash dict equals an empty dictionary. And then right here what we can do is user hash dictionary uh, the key is going to be username and it's going to be assigned the value of the hash. So let's make sure that all works. So we can do for user and hash, uh, which I don't think I should be able to use that. Yeah, for user and hash in uh, user hash dictionary dot, uh, I think it's items. Yeah. Um, you can iterate through a dictionary if you use the dot items method and it'll return the key and the value uh, for these two variables. So then we can do print user and hash. So this should print the user and hash. So yeah, so username and hash and we have them separated. So now that we have everything organized, we can go ahead and start running our logic for how it needs to check uh, uh, and see if any of the hashes within the uh, username hashes file match any of our common passwords. So down here we can do uh, for password in common passwords. So for every common password we have in our list, we are going to uh, first hash it. We're going to hash that password with the hash lib, which we need to import at the top. Import hash library. 
sha256, and we're passing in the current password that we're on. And we gotta encode it into UTF-8 uh, encoding. And then what we can do is go ahead and just do the hex digest right here. So all this right here is gonna uh, get the hash for uh, uh, our common password. So like welcome one will be the first one. So this will th throw in welcome one and hash it. So now we have the hash for welcome one. So now we can say if hashed password, well actually, sorry, we need to loop through uh, uh, every hash that's in our uh, username hashes. So we need to do for hash in, what do we call it? We called it our user hash dig, yeah. So for hash in, actually, sorry, we need to do this for username and hash in user hash dictionary dot items, which will return all the username and hash combinations. If the password we just, the common password that we just hashed, if it matches the hash, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna print to the screen uh, hash found a new line, and we'll still make, let's make this a format uh, string, uh, and it will actually print the username, and then it will print a colon, and then it will print the password that it found. Uh, this should work. Let's see. Yeah, so look, it found, yeah, J Doe, uh, we made welcome one, and J Smith, we made password one, and J West, we made Python is fun. Uh, sorry if that was a bit confusing. It's kind of weird because we use the pat, the word, like the term password and username and hash password all over the place. So, like, you've got to come up with, uh, I guess, just real descriptive variable names, and it's kind of hard in this case, but uh, yeah, it does work. So, essentially, what it's doing right here, it's just looping through every single password that we have in this dictionary right here um, or this text file it's hashing that pa uh, that password and storing it in this hash password variable then our dictionary that contains our username ha uh, hash uh, values that we got right here it's going to loop through all those and see if that common password hash matches the current hash that it's on and then when it finds one it just prints it right here so yeah sorry if that was a little confusing but um yeah, I hope you, you at least learned something, and I'll see you guys in the next video.